28 minutes ago 17.46 BST Cambridge dunk the helms. Jasper Parrish absolutely loves it. He climbs out of the drink, turning his arms to the pump. Loved every moment of it and why not? 31 minutes ago 1744 BST Claire Balding Prendergast think Cambridge are now stealing a walk by. Combining men's and women's boat clubs that train celebrate together. With the right atmosphere created, it makes perfect sense for top athletes to be able to push each other higher. 34 minutes ago 17.41 BST now the Cambridge men are coming to rave. Ollie Boyne lifts the trophy. His team lathers him up. And a night of centuries begins. 37 minutes before 17.38 BST Cambridge women arrive. Take the podium. Wrap their arms around each other. They take their jerobam filled with sparkling wine. Quiva Dempsey runs towards the mug. Tosses it into the air. And his friends mistake it for bevy. 40 minutes ago 17.35 BST Good News Felix Drinkle is said to be fine. Going to the hospital for checkups. I have no idea what it takes to make yourself suffer this kind of pain. 41 minutes ago 17.33 BST Tassilo von Muller says Felix Drinkle is not in a big void on the boat. But hopes he will be fine. Extremely disappointed. He stated that in a battle between the two teams. One should be home disappointed. He can't find himself saying anything else. 44 minutes ago 17.30 BST, what a race. Said Ollie. Absolute pleasure and with my brother. Jasper got us an incredible race. Meanwhile, Jasper can barely utter a word as his older brother takes on the task. He's equally happy, but no questions asked about the big call that kind of ended the race. He's a very young but confident helmsman, says Grace Prendergast from 17.28 BST Parish 46 minutes ago, noting that she learned the trade on the river. And here it is. 48 minutes ago 17.27 BST Drinkle is still receiving medical attention. So the Cambridge celebrations are a little quiet. Their president, Ollie Boyne, is still very happy, praising his coach's dedication and stating that the race is everything to them. 50 minutes ago 17.24 BST we must not forget that Jasper's decision to move away from the center to Craven Cottage, away from the polluted water put his team ahead. Our experts seriously doubted the plausibility of this call. But he knew. And his team must have trusted him. Gone where he told them. And put his idea to life. 52 minutes ago at 1722 BST Japser Parish hugs his brother Ollie and we learn that Oxford paraplegic. Felix Drinkle is in a bit of trouble, his friends pull him over to get medical attention. 54 minutes ago 17.21 BST Cambridge wins the men's boat race for the fourth time in five events. It was a tremendous effort. Cambridge celebrates victory over Oxford. Updated at 17.33 BST 54 minutes ago 17.20 BST Oxford is getting a little closer. Going less than a distance away. But that won't matter. One hour ago 17.19 BST Oxford knows you're done. They gave their all and kept Cambridge honest. But we're still powerless to take vantage away. One hour ago at 17.18 BST Cambridge got a little more than Oxford, they looked calm and strong. Throughout this race and when we got to Barnesbridge Oxford hit the finishing gas early to kick. Their opponents in the back. Good luck, old friends. One hour ago 17.16 BST Cambridge seems to be increasing their lead at the moment and it looks insurmountable. I think the difference is one and a half. And Oxford looks tiresome now, for good reason. One hour ago 17.15 BST Cambridge is still one length and little ahead as Cambridge turns the corner to Chiswick. They rode in a terrific race here. Held the lead. Oxford did great job of holding on there. Which team has more left as you move through the final stages? 
one hour ago at 17.13 BST Cambridge took the lead and got enough to take the inside lane and it will be difficult for Oxford from here. But Oxford is close and they're still in it. One hour ago 17.11 BST Cambridge is still in control of this race. One and a half lengths ahead and it's a really good race. Oxford stays close enough not to leave the inside course at the final corner. But do they have enough left to overtake? It's not my doubt. One hour ago 17.10 BST Cambridge is the leader at Hammersmith Bridge and it's rare for a team to lose from here. But Oxford is still involved we turn corner. So light blues are trying to push as if they could take inside course around last bend if they had clear water. Spectators watch the passing of boats. Updated at 17.19 BST one hour ago 17.08 BST Cambridge has been warned again as Oxford is crossing in. If the dark blues can touch them, the lights may be disqualified. But as Oxford goes again, they dig and save themselves. Cambridge is ahead by one length and is changing at Hammersmith Bridge. One hour ago 17.06 BST in general. Faster water is in middle where river is deeper. But I think Parrish felt it was choppy enough to find joy on sidelines and we learn from joint communications that it was a very maverick move. But his crew seems to be almost a length ahead and moving smoothly. All Oxford at full throttle. One hour ago 17.05 BST Oxford plows. Bigger, stronger crew heading into the headwind. As Cambridge makes its way to Craven Cottage. Jasper Parrish's bold move. This looks like a closer competition than the women's race. And it works. His team is ahead. Oxford is following them and this could be a very important decision. Oxford boat finds choppy water. Updated at 17.07 BST one hour ago at 17.03 BST Cambridge sprang out of the gate and was immediately alerted as the boats were approaching each other. There's some serious speed here. Cambridge once again warned him to walk away and Oxford is now half a length ahead. One hour ago 17.01 BST both helmsmen have their hands in the air. Probably not happy with the way their boat is positioned. Cambridge is ready. Oxford is ready and we are closed. One hour ago 17.01 BST, there's a great tissue culture montage, says Bill Preston. Seriously talented work. As always, I will support Oxford. They will keep their feet on the ground and unleash exciting feats to win by half a length. One hour ago 16.55 BST Cambridge rudder issue seems to be resolved. Hopefully we'll get away on time at 5 p.m. British summer time one hour ago 16.51 BST the Cambridge team think they have struck the right balance between work and fun this semester. Although they haven't quite succeeded, we watch training footage that seems like the opposite of entertainment. One hour ago 16.49 BST the crew is carrying their boats to the river as we learned that one of them might have a steering problem. I guess this is Cambridge. Oh yes. It is, but it's sorted. You won't want to attack four odd miles down the river without relying on equipment. One hour ago 16.47 BST Helmless Doubles Olympic champion Helen Glover announced that she will be heading for another title in Paris. She didn't discover rowing until she was 21. Her suitability was discovered by a talent ID program. And now check it out. One hour ago 16.45 BST The Other Brothers Cambridge Helmsman Jasper Parrish, who won the women's team last term, now manages the men's team, including his older brother Ollie. 216.44 BST We are watching a VT telling us that rowing which is usually the protected area of public schools, is taken to children from different backgrounds who are learning about teamwork, discipline and so on. I didn't know that race sponsor Gemini belonged to Winklevoss Twins, better known as Winklevy, 
who rode for Oxford in 2010 regatta and represented USA at 2008 Beijing Olympics. Two 16.39 BSTR teams for the men's race Cambridge Bow Matt Edge, Brett Taylor Noam Mal Seb. Benzie Cry Thomas Lynch Nick Mayhew Ollie Parrish Stroke Luca Ferraro Cox Jasper Parrish Oxford Bow James Forward Alex Bebb Freddie Orpin Tom Sherrick James Doran Jean Philippe Dufour Tassilo Vaughn Muller Kick Felix Drinkle Cox Anna O'Hanlon 2 at 16.34 BST Cambridge team keeps their helms in air. Then has more fun throwing champions out a bottle. I guess they're going to have a nice celebration tonight. 2 at 16.33 BST Oxford Sarah Halen is proud of her team and says the course changes a lot during the race so it's never clear what to expect. 2 at 16.31 BST Cambridge president and sole survivor from last year. Quiva Dempsey is proud of his team, saying their helmsmen are very competitive and push them. She says the team is made up of different characters from different shows and the personalities overlap well. Updated at 16.33 BST to 16.29 BST looking back. I think Oxford knew were beaten. So came out hard. Knew had to win from the front if we're going to win. And once Cambridge passed, nothing was likely to change.